In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the iFlight Titan XL5. Now, this comes in two different variants. We have an analog variant and also an HD variant that takes the DJI module inside. So what we're looking at today is the analog variant. However, the only difference is basically just a couple 3D printed parts that you can probably find online. And the difference in price between the analog and the HD variant is only $5. So with that being said, let's take a look at this guy. PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. Now the Titan XL5 is a 5 inch quadcopter and it comes with quite a lot of accessories here. We have an anti-slip pad. Now for the camera, it's only going to fit a micro and you could possibly get away with a mini, but I really doubt you would be able to do that. So more 3D printed parts as we do have on the bottom here, as you can tell, this will protect the overall lifespan of the frame, which is a really great addition also for the arms here and just about every type of antenna placement you could dream of. So if we look at the back here, we have the ability to add a GPS module if we wanted to, Crossfire R9M, and also if you wanted to stick a normal XM Plus or a normal 2.4 gigahertz receiver, you have that all ready made for you in the packaging. And if we grab a closer look down here, you can see you can just have the uh, receiver just basically suspended right there, which again is really nice addition here. Very thoughtful and very proper here. For 50 bucks, this is quite a freaking deal. Now, if we move to the mounting solutions, so what we have is we actually have a double mounting solution. So we have 30 by 30 in the back here and also 30 by 30 in the middle part right there. We also have 20 by 20 M2 sized holes for a 2020 uh, mounting set up if you wanted to go that route and also in the back so you can probably put a cadex vista if you're into the cadex vista in the back you could put a probably a split camera so this is really nice and you're going to be able to add quite a lot of components into this if you're looking into something of that nature now if we look at the main uh area here for mounting let's actually double check the size and see what we have in here so the amount of clearance we have here is 20 millimeters and in the back here we have around 28 uh, not including the 3D printed part, you might have a little bit less with that 3D printed part, probably also around another 20, but you could always remove that if you wanted to. Now, if we do look at some other things you do provide us before we come back into the frame, how it's set up, they give us these. Now, at first I thought they were double-sided tape to hold in uh, a DJI module, but it's actually not. These have tape right here and they're supposed to go on the arms and they protect your motor wires, which is a really nice addition. I've never seen that before. So I really like seeing that they give you four of these. So that's that's really nice. Also, the hardware, they give you some proper hardware as well. And also, I love these see through uh, nylon nuts right here, which are really, really great. And they just make the aesthetics look a little bit nicer here. You also have one of these 3D printed parts that would go on, for example, your antenna and you'll be able to tighten it much easier here. So that's a really nice addition here. These, I have no idea what the hell these are for. Um, they're really hard plastic. They're not TPU and they're uh, injected molded plastic here. So I actually don't know what you would use these for. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, they give you another extra anti-slip and two battery straps, two proper leather battery straps here from iFlight, which again is a really nice addition here. So if we move down to the arms and we get its overall thickness here, it's around six millimeters. So that's really nice. You get six millimeter arms. And I believe every other, uh, for example, the bottom bottom plate here and the bottom bottom plate here is around 3.5 millimeters. The upper plate is two millimeters. Also the upper bottom plate, which is this plate right here is going to be two millimeters. Camera plates as well look two millimeters here. Everything is chamfered, very nice. And as you can tell, I'm not having any uh, carbon fiber dust here. The sides are very smooth. It's, it's just a properly cut frame here in my opinion and the way the arms are held into place is basically with two self-locking nuts here now this was a mistake i was supposed to use longer screws because those screws are the ones that go into the flight controller right there this one and this one the inner four right here the outer four here doesn't matter as long as they come in flush you're good to go so it has two self-locking nuts for each arm there is no uh some sort of a connection where they interlock in the middle it's just an arm and then you just use those two screws and that's about it for the arms which should do the job just fine for most cases plus the hardware provided is really great and that's a really important thing because shitty hardware could ruin your whole quadcopter at times if you lose a screw crack a screw or you know just what something went loose it's not tightening down 
your arms shaking. So uh, hardware is very important, especially when it comes down to frames. And for 50 bucks, this is an insane deal. And actually, I can't wait to build this thing. It actually looks so sick. Uh, for overall weight, what I've weighed around 183 grams, just like this. On the site, they're saying 199, but that's for the DJI variant. But I got 183 grams here, which is a decent weight. Um, I mean, you're not expecting to do a light build if you buy this frame. So keep that in mind. This is like a freestyle frame here. And what's really nice with the iFlats, you'll be able to find a ton of 3D printed parts for your GoPros. Also, look how much space we have back here. So you can probably go crazy with this and put a really big battery and just, uh, you know, have it be sluggish, but at the same time, be a really long flying cinematic quadcopter in a way. So you can do that as well, which again is really, really nice. Yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. Of, actually, let me get, let me measure that for you. Usually the GoPro would go on these two right there. So you'd have about this much of space. We'll just say this much of space. So you have around 106 millimeters of, of clearance right here, which you can use forever you want. Now that your battery leads will come out from the back right here, and it's already been thought of, which is really nice. So when you're building, keep that in mind. Make sure your batteries are going to be able to make their way through the back stack or figure out a way to uh, have them be mounted along the standoffs here. That's something a lot of companies, I think, should really think about when they provide these because I don't really like having a super long uh, battery lead because it also allows noise to be introduced. It's not a big deal, but I prefer it to be as short as possible and usually off to the side secured. I don't like it in the back because depending on your battery, some, some batteries have really long wires and they could easily just, you know, fall over there and just get chopped off by the propeller. So, you know, just be very careful when you're building it. Keep an eye on your battery leads here. And that's about it. That's a really, really proper one. Very nicely cut. And it looks like it's going to be an absolute beast. And it seems to be the Stretch X design right here. Uh, so if you're into Stretch X, it could be wrong. It could be just kind of, it really, it, no, it just looks like a Stretch X. I'm, I'm pretty confident this is a Stretch X here. And well, that's it, guys. It'll be linked down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.